Hey, how's it going guys? It is Blake here. Um, finally, I am able to make a vlog outdoors. Um, finally got the time to do it. As a matter of fact, I spent pretty much all day outside today. Um, you know, I was recording some stuff downtown in the city, and now I kind of took a step back and I'm back in the more quiet suburbs slash country. <laughs> Not really country, but, you know, more suburban area, more... A lot more quiet more peaceful and um you know i'm just spending a little bit of time outside before i head back in for the day to basically sit back on my ass <laughs> and do some more work but um anyway i guess uh today i kind of wanted to make a vlog about something that has been i guess lingering about me for quite some time and um it's basically something that i uh recently figured out um, or recently learned about that uh, potentially could be uh, what my issue was in the first place and um, I don't really know if this is a common phenomena within um, a commonly known phenomena within the spiritual community or the conscious community or whatever you want to call it but um, nonetheless is something that uh, I heard about in an interview and you know when it was brought up it really um, it really resonated with me not really in a great way but well, I guess, I guess knowledge is, I guess knowledge is good, but you know, it's, it's, it was that sort of thing that, you know, I probably could have been better off hearing or better off not hearing, but you know, I heard it nonetheless. And I kind of wanted to make a vlog about that today. And, um, I guess the topic, or I guess what it's called, um, is soul abortion. Um, now I'm going to backtrack real quick and just, um, kind of tell you guys my main, I kind of want to talk about my main issue of 2016 I guess end of 2015 into 2016 um, so far has been an extreme lack of energy and um, when I say an extreme lack of energy I don't really mean energy as in like you know oh I can't run this distance or oh I don't think I can bench this much or you know that kind of stuff but um, more so lack of willpower more so lack of determination and like you know more so lack of just like lack of ability to like really want to do anything it's like a feeling of it's like a true feeling of emptiness it's like actually emptiness and you know <laughs> I want to say that I felt empty before but it's really nothing like this it's not really it's not really sadness emptiness either it's more it's just like empty like you just have like nothing in you it's voidness um and I mean, you know, that might sound sad, but it's not really exactly sad because you can still feel this feeling, but you can still feel other emotions. It's just more so um, it affects your willpower to do other things. Um, but anyway, fast forward a little bit to this interview um, that I recently listened to. It was actually a few weeks back, probably, probably like a month ago. But um, the topic of soul abortion was brought up when... Um, uh, the spiritual teacher in the interview was a uh, question about, um, I think she was questioned about some lady's son and, you know, he's in like his late twenties or his mid twenties, close to my age, probably, probably a little bit older. What is that noise? Anyway, um, so she was questioned about this lady's son and his issue apparently was, you know, he was, his health was deteriorating. He had no willpower to do anything he wasn't necessarily depressed but like he just would not do anything at all apps at all absolutely ever and you know like he wouldn't even do the things he enjoyed doing anymore and like literally he was just getting more sick and sick and sick and like um they didn't really know why um and so then the topic of soul abortion was brought up and it's not really what it sounds like usually when we think abortion we think of um the very uh, controversial topic of, you know, getting rid of a baby before birth or pre-birth or however that process goes. I don't really know in specific, but um, soul abortion, from my understanding, is when um, it's when your soul, when your spirit is basically um, no longer, no longer, um, no longer depositing maximum life force into your physical body. So it's more so it's withdrawing life force from your physical body and kind of um, kind of withholding it and I don't really know why that would I don't really know why but I'm assuming assuming we're multi-dimensional beings 
um, it's probably safe to say that that energy could be used somewhere else. You know, um, this isn't really the only plane that we're experiencing all the time. And our life force is more than likely being used in other ways and probably more effective ways um, than just doing nothing. <laughs> It's probably being more in, uh, probably being used more in more effective ways on other planes. So this is probably that's probably one scenario in which why I can see soul abortion would be an actual thing, and um, why that sort of thing would take place. You know, if you're not utilizing your energy in this life or on this plane, it could be utilized in probably a more productive way on another plane. And um, so far, that's my understanding of it. And unfortunately, a few days ago when I had the idea of making this vlog came to mind. Um, I tried researching a little bit on it and I couldn't find anything on soul abortion. So um, maybe this is something that this spiritual teacher made up. Maybe it's something that's just not well known yet. Um, I don't know. But um, when she was discussing it, you know, it kind of popped in my head like, hey, maybe this is maybe this is what I've been going through. Maybe I'm going through a sort of soul abortion period. Because, I mean, it's only been recently that this extreme lack of energy has has really hit me. And, um, you know, I'm really, really, really trying hard to climb out of it again right now. You know, I have, I have my peak periods, but um, for the most part, from like end of 2015 till now, it's just been, it's just been pretty much on the rise. You know, I started out the beginning of 2016, you know, I started going to the gym. I started exercising a little bit more. Um, you know, I started planning trips for the summer, for like late spring, summer, and you know, I went on a few trips, I went on to town a lot for a good two to three months, and um, you know, I was pretty much following, uh, following my passions and doing what I really love to do, and um, I'll get to that in a second, but you know, after that, after that period was over, or even when I, after I took small breaks, you know, that lack of energy would just, it would just start again, and I'd be back to square one. Um, that's kind of where I'm at right now, but um, I feel like things are getting a little bit better. It really depends. I mean, today, well, today, maybe the last few days have probably been the best I've felt in probably the last few months. Um, but um, needless to say, I don't, I highly doubt this issue is resolved. Um, I don't really think it works like that. I'm pretty sure it's a long process, something that I'm going to have to work on. But um, back to what I was saying about how I was uh, during those months, you know, late spring into the summer, how I was focusing more on the things that I really enjoyed doing, focusing on what um, my passions are. I feel like this is something that's really underlooked and it's extremely, extremely, extremely important, even on a spiritual level, um, or even on a physical level rather, um, that you are doing what you enjoy when you can and as much as you possibly can. Obviously, you might want to take breaks because even the things that you enjoy could burn you out. They could leave you exhausted. Um, but I, I do feel like it's really important that we spend a lot more time doing things that we actually enjoy doing rather than doing things that, you know, stress us out or, um, you know, make us feel depressed or all that other kind of stuff. You know, we live in a society where a lot of people spend their days in cycles and identical cycles at that just doing the exact same thing over and over and over again and sometimes i wonder like sometimes i wonder how do these people how do these people survive like this and i mean i'm just gonna go out and say it i'm 22 and like most people my age are beginning to live that sort of lifestyle um you know i do have a few friends who um, are able to do the things they like to do for a living. You know, they, they are able to do, they're able to, um, do their passions for a living. So their days aren't exactly, you know, they're not exactly in that washed up cycle that's just on repeat over and over and over again. But, um, most people I know, that's how they live their lives. Even my parents, I don't know how much my parents actually enjoy their jobs. Um, even my family members, I don't know how much they actually enjoy their jobs, but, um, I think it's really important, especially for people of my generation, you know, it's been said that uh, the current the current new generation coming in, they're a lot more sensitive to, they're a lot more sensitive to these more, I guess you could say negative based way, negative based lifestyles that um, previous generations have been living. Um, and so, you know, I feel like uh, these cases of soul abortions, even if, if, even if that's not a thing, even if it is a thing, um, just you know basing off that example i feel like these cases are probably a lot more common in this generation since um 
you know, we're a lot more sensitive to those kind of uh, those kind of rigorous, really repetitive lifestyles, and we just can't handle it. I mean, I can't even imagine like doing the same thing over and over and over again, like 40 hours a week. I mean, I used to work a lot, like at my first job, I used to work a ton of hours because I was trying to save a lot of money um, throughout the duration of a year, and like it was like that. But I don't know. I have no idea how I got through that. But um, I guess getting back on topic, you know, it is really important that we spend a lot of time doing what we enjoy. Otherwise, you know, stuff like this can happen where, um, where our body and our, our, where our soul and our body just, oh, we can't work together because, you know, you have this thing going on and you're not allowing the energy, not allowing the positive energy to flow. I kind of think of our, I kind of think of our, our life force, I guess, <laughs> I don't really know how to describe this, but I kind of want to think about our life flows our life force flowing as gears if we don't allow it to flow properly the gears rust and even when we do start moving again like how i'm trying to do it takes a while for it to unrust and continue to move slowly uh, we have to allow the life force to flow through us like a stream very just you know very smoothly <laughs> i don't know any other way to word that but um i definitely feel like that's really important because um, you know, even when the even during cases when um, when I feel like I don't have a lot of energy, um, and it's a long period of I don't have a lot of energy, and once I do start, you know, doing what I enjoy, and I do start regaining that energy a little bit, um, it takes time. It takes consistency to keep that energy flowing because of um, the long period of time where it wasn't flowing. So, um, and it wasn't you know it wasn't going through me. So it's. Um, no, you also have to be consistent with doing what you love. You know, you have to, um, I don't know what else to say. You really just have to keep the energy going. I'm not really that good at making vlogs like this just yet. And I'm like distracted by all my surroundings. Cause, like I'm worried somebody's going to like sneak up on me and like hit me in the head. <laughs> I don't know. But um, anyway, yeah, that's something I just wanted to touch on today. And um you know, that's kind of been the issue behind the lack of vlogs, and that's kind of been the issue behind a, the lack of a lot of other content for stuff that I've been doing, but, um, you know, I'm really going to try and give 110% now to really get myself back on that peak period that I was on, I guess, uh, you know, during during the spring, during summer, especially, like, during uh, during autumn of last year, like, autumn of last year was the best I felt in literally my entire life and um i guess you could probably say that you know i felt around this i felt around the same satisfaction um the same very high energy like uh way i don't really know how to word that um during the spring and the summer the early spring or late spring early summer this year but um it was really short-lived so um, you know, I kind of want to attain that peak again and just hold on to it for as long as I possibly can, even though I know it's going to be a long process and um, to kind of just rid this issue altogether. But um, yeah, this has been long enough, I think. Um, you know, I'm not the greatest at uh, conveying, my, conveying my thoughts into words. I'm much better at writing things, but I will continue to do these vlogs and I will continue to share my thoughts because I would <laughs> like to improve on speaking. And I would continue, I would like to continue to convey my thoughts via words. So, um, yeah, I definitely want to work on that. Um, any last thing that I need to touch on before I head out? Um, no, I don't think there is. But really, guys, do what you enjoy. Like, stick to it. Just, please, just do it. It's extremely important. It's more important than you probably think it is. Um, don't fall into cycles. Cycles are dangerous. Very, very, very dangerous. Anyway, um, yeah, that's going to be it for me today, guys. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Hopefully it will be sometime soon. I'll probably have, yeah, I'll probably have one out sometime next week. I don't think I'll be able to squeeze in another one this week. But next week for sure, I'll think of a different topic. And, you know, if you've heard of uh, soul abortions before, if you have any more information on that, um, if it's something you've heard of, something you've been thinking about yourself, you know, feel free to comment about it. I'd love to have a discussion about it. Um, if you, yeah, pretty much. That's, <laughs> I think that's pretty much all I want to say. Anyway, oh, and also sub to the channel if you haven't yet, because uh, I do have a few um, cool videos coming. I want to say that they're pretty cool. They're on the way. Um, and uh, yeah, 
I definitely don't want you guys to miss out on that. So anyway, you guys take care. I will see you guys next time. Peace, everybody.